We're talking with four guys about what is the literal meaning of the word day in Genesis 1 and 2. And we're coming to a question that a lot of folks ask. When Yom is used with a number, okay, either an ordinal or a cardinal, and Jason explain what an ordinal and a cardinal is. When Yom is used with a number in the Old Testament, does this show it always must be a 24-hour day? Okay, well, first of all, cardinal would be uh, a number like a one, one, two, three, and then ordinal would be first, second, third. Now, the first day of creation, it uses the, uh, the cardinal number, one day. There was evening, there was morning, uh, one day. And that's probably because it's defining what a day is. A day is an evening and a morning. You put the two together, you get a complete day. So I think it makes a very strong case for a day in an ordinary sense as opposed to a, a longer period of time, again, because they're in that syntagmatic relationship. Now, the other days of creation, you can have another evening, another morning, you get a second day, a third day, a fourth day, a fifth day. Then it says the sixth day, and because it's special. It's the, the last day of creation where God makes Adam and Eve, and then the seventh day, because it's special as well. It was the day where God rested and, rested and uh, sanctified it, God's special day of rest. Why, and, didn't, uh, uh, why didn't God use there was evening and there was morning on that last day? Well, again, it might be because it was a very special day, a day that God sanctified. It certainly doesn't mean it's a longer period of time. I mean, the Bible doesn't say that last Thursday was bounded by evening and morning, but we can conclude that it was. So, I mean, just because it's, it's, it would be an argument of silence to say that it's because it doesn't but have... But do you find any other hints in the text itself of Scripture that would lead you that uh, that may not be the right conclusion? Uh, no, I can't find anything elsewise that would say, you know, that why, why the formula changes there. Seventh day is special. It's the day that God sanctified and blessed. Okay, Walter, do you think there's any tips in the text? No, I like Jason's uh, explanation, and I think those are the exact uh, uh, correct things, except I do... Uh, think that deliberately the seventh day was left uh, open. Why? Because scripture again says that and uh, that's the argument from Psalm 95 and also from Hebrews 3 and Hebrews uh, 4. But uh, 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 I, I think uh, argument one and then second, third, fourth, uh, fifth and then the sixth and the seventh is uh, uh, just writer's style, stylistic. Certainly, uh, seven doesn't take us up to 24 <laughs> hours, so uh, I, the point is they were in a series, and it's a series of divine acts by the spoken word. Just like in Matthew 8, nobleman says, look, Lord, just speak the word, and my servant will be healed. And he found out, when was it that he was healed? It was in the same moment that he spoke the word. So it's creation by it, we call it. We use a Latin term there. It is a creation by virtue 